Gretel and Hansel, a movie I never would have saw, not even on the Seven Seas, except for somebody I knew wanted to go see it. And she likes these type of movies, you know, it's supposed to be a horror movie. But this movie wasn't scary, it was just boring. I almost, cl I closed my eyes a few, more than a few times in this film. Not because it was scary, because I was falling asleep. The actors were competent. It's like some of the scenes that were shot in the forest were actually nice and you know spooky and that kind of stuff. And, you could, and I could see what they were trying to go for. But the story, garbage. And no, it's not just because they made the girl the main character. No, it was just it was a stupid story. They didn't really finish anything. It's still the. Uh, Kids, even though the girl is like a teenager, goes into the forest. And instead of going into the forest with their, because they want to find their uh, way back home, they were let out there by their stepmother. They went out because their mother, their father died, their mother went crazy. So they go out there, they find the witch, and oh, Gretel has, actu Gretel has magic powers too. And she kills the witch to save her little brother and then they separate and he goes off to live with Huntsman and she becomes a new witch and releases the children who have the witch ate and she ate children to keep herself young or something like that even though she appeared old or she ate children just because she wanted to oh wait she ate children to have her magic he was like right I'll never ate children so how does she have it it doesn't make any sense uh, I know some idiots are saying how great this movie is because they're trying to say it's great because of the because they think it's a feminist thing in there. There's no feminist thing in there. I mean, there's a little thing about how the guy, the, the little perverted guy in the beginning, who's the only creepy part of the movie, who asks Gretel if she's a virgin still when she's gonna become a house worker for him, and says that she needs to call him my lord instead of something instead of sir. And she refused to take the job. That's like the only feminist thing I can see in the movie, I guess. So, for one scene, they're praising this thing. I don't get it. Neither me nor Brooke even like this movie. And she likes horror films. She likes, quote-unquote, scary movies. She gave the thing a D just as well as I did. The uh, poster... If you want to know what that means. The witch is pulling hair out because she eats what it's like a cake or something. And she starts pulling the hair out because this the, her magic wears off or something. She's trying like to show Gretel. It's like you, Gretel finally gets to see why the kids or how the food's made. Because they're not, she ne the witch never goes hunting, never goes to the market. The food is always just there, and it's always in abundance when the rest of the village, or right, the places around the area, are all starving to death. And for some reason, the witch turns something she ate into the hair, back into the hair of the child, and she pulls it out of her mouth. Just, it's just, it's just stupid. It doesn't make any sense. But that's the poster they went with. Um. The child actor that played uh, Hansel is, he's annoying, but you know, he's childish annoying. Sorry, that was a stupid air conditioner for this tiny little box I'm in. And that's about it. I can't really say much about this film. It's, I'd personally skip it. My friend who loves horror films, she also says she would never watch it again. So I don't see where these people find out how much they love this thing. But hey, if you can enjoy it, more power to you. Have a good one.